Hey you guys, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of thanking each and every one of you, of getting to know you better, and just welcoming you to the Alleyways family. If I've already shown shouted you out and you're looking for more ways to get involved, head to my description box down below. There's a link there to a private Facebook page exclusively for the Alleyways fam. This is just a fun, positive, safe place for us to get to know each other better, to hang out, to talk, to be dis nerds, to share photos of pets or family or good news, and really just love on one another. I'm so fortunate to know each and every one of you. I'm so, so grateful. I can't say it enough. Thank you. I love you all so much much. Okay, we are deep into Vlogmas now, and somebody, I can't remember who, it might have been Ludine, suggested that I rank my top five Christmas movies, including Disney and non-Disney. So that is what I thought I would do today. We are going to do my top five, starting at five and working all the way up to number one. Let's get started. Coming in at number five is White Christmas with Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen. It's just such a Christmas classic. I really love the music in this film and not just the iconic White Christmas. All of the songs that they do, snow and choreography, the best things happen while you're dancing. There's so many earworms in this film that I really sing all year long. And I just think that it reminds me of being with my family and having that come on television when I was younger and us taking time to sit and watch it. I also am a massive fan of Edith Head. So Edith Head is a legendary costume designer from old Hollywood. She dressed some of the most iconic film stars like Grace Kelly and Audrey Hepburn. She created so many iconic looks throughout her career. And some of the most gorgeous that she did, in my opinion, are in White Christmas. I love the outfits that Rosemary Clooney and Vera Ellen wear. I just think they're so beautiful. It's something that I just seeing those pieces, you just want to wear them. You want to try them on. You want to see what they would look like. I just think they're so beautiful. And I, I just think it's really sweet. I, I cry every time I watch that film at the end whenever everyone surprises General Waverly. And I love the setting. I just think it seems really cozy. It makes me want to just take a trip and stay at a cozy inn in Vermont during the winter. And I just think that the film has a really, really sweet heart. I love being Crosby and uh, Danny Kay's dynamic. I think they're hilarious and I just love seeing both of them fall in love, uh, you know, pretty reluctantly. But it's a sweet movie. It's always going to be a Christmas classic. It's one that I absolutely have to watch every year and that's why it's number five on my list. And now time for number four. This is when the rankings got really, really tough for me because I love all of these movies so much that they all could be number one. However, at number four, I am putting the original Home Alone. Okay, I talked about Home Alone on ranking the Disney Plus movies. You guys suggested I watch the sequel. I did, and I absolutely loved it. It made me want to take a trip to New York City. I've said so much already about how much I love the original Home Alone, but if you didn't catch my Disney Plus ranking, the reasons I love Home Alone, again, I feel like it's a classic. There are so many great one-liners from that movie. Look what you did, you little jerk. Uh, keep the change, you filthy animal all things like that that have really just become a big part of our kind of Christmas culture. I love the the setting. Again, I keep talking about settings in film, but for me, films are such a visual experience, and I love, love the McAllister's house. Like, I honestly think it would be so cool, because I know that house is actually in Chicago, and it's still there. I think it would be so cool if they took that house and redecorated it exactly like the movie and it was an exhibit where you could walk through. I think that would just be such a cool experience, but that house is beautiful. It just reminds me of being in friends' houses like that when I was younger. Um, yeah, it's a total flashback to my childhood because it's set around the time I was, you know, um, Macaulay Culkin's age. And so it really does just remind me of being young and what Christmas time was like in the 80s and 90s. And I just think he's hilarious and so adorable. 
Of course, the villains were even just amazing and lovable. Home Alone is always going to be just a cult classic and one of my absolute favorites. And that's why I put it at number four. A different day, it could absolutely be number one, but that's where it is for now. Okay, moving on to number three, and this is really tough, but for me, number three is Elf. Elf, in my opinion, is so sweet, so adorable, and absolutely hysterical. And when I think about Christmas films, there's not a lot of modern Christmas films that have become classics, become um, a tradition for people. And Elf, I think, is one of the only ones that I can think of that's a modern or contemporary, more recent Christmas film that has become a Christmas classic. I think Elf is a masterpiece. First of all, the costumes being an exact replica from the Rudolph Claymation movie, which I also love. I didn't include any Claymation films in this because I feel like they're a category all of their own, but I absolutely love Year Without a Santa Claus. Um, I love Rudolph. I love, um, no, what is the name of the, uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Those are all incredible. Maybe I should do a separate ranking for those, but I love the costumes from Elf and how they look exactly like the ones from Rudolph. Will Ferrell was so great. He was so innocent, sweet, and funny. The rest of the cast was incredible as well. We had hilarious performances. I think that the folks that were in the department store were so funny. I love the mailroom scene. Zoe Deschanel was really, really sweet. Um, yeah, it's just, it also makes me want to take a trip to New York City. It makes me miss being in New York and being there at Christmas time just takes it to a whole other level. And I just think it's such an interesting idea and now has, in my opinion, you guys let me know what you think, become a Christmas staple and a Christmas classic. And I think it's going to be one like Home Alone and some of these other films that I've talked about that are really going to stand the test of time. I love it. Also a lot of really great one-liners, like the yellow ones don't stop. I think that's, that's just so funny. I love Elf. And of course, you know, bye buddy, hope you find your dad. I hear people say that all the time. So that's the other thing I really liked is that it was live action, but almost kind of in a claymation set. I thought that that was really, really cool. So I love Elf. Again, it could be number one, but today it's number three. Let's move on to number two. Coming in at number two is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, starring Jim Carrey. Again, this is a more modern film that I think has become absolutely a classic. And I know there's been a lot of versions of this now. So we obviously have the original cartoon one, which I think should be included in the ranking with claymation films. That is also just... I keep saying classic, but it is. It's 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 iconic. It's so classic. It reminds me, again, of having to be a program viewer. So finding out when it was coming on television and then making sure you were in front of the TV at that time as a child was so exciting. And I always did that for the classic one. And so I was really, when I was younger, I was excited for there to be a live action, but I didn't know what to expect. And now, of course, we have the, I think, DreamWorks animated one. And then there was just the Broadway version with... All these different actors taking on the Grinch but you guys I don't think anybody will ever do that role as well as Jim Carrey did it. It was an iconic performance. It is such a quotable movie. So hilarious. My family quotes that movie all year. Like if I'm having a hard time finding something to wear to an event I always say that's it. I'm not going. I do that all the time. Or if I'm upset, I'll say hate, 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 triple hate, loathe entirely. And that could just go on and on and on. It's, it is hilarious. And I think that's largely owing to his performance. He really just gave his all. And I think that there won't ever be somebody who can top Jim Carrey in that role as the Grinch. I just think he absolutely nailed it. Of course, all the hair and makeup and costuming in that movie was top notch. I really feel like they captured what Dr. Seuss visually did uh, with the original and brought that to life in a way that was just so over the top and beautiful and saturated and Christmassy. I just wish I could have been on that set and seen how incredible everything was. I think the CGI was really great. I think even now looking back at it, it really holds up well and I know now, as I look back at a lot of the films I watched when I was younger, seeing the CGI, you kind of feel like some of that has aged, but not with this film. They did a great job. 
Um, the entire cast was hilarious and so sweet and it still had the heart of the original animated story and I really love that and I just, it's one that I cannot let this season go by without watching it. I just have to every time. I love it. I love it so much. It's actually just all around one of my favorite movies and that is why it came in at number two for today, like I keep saying. But let's move on to number one. Coming in at number one is my all-time favorite Christmas movie, one of my all-time favorite movies, just hands down, and that is Christmas Vacation. Okay, so I know I told you guys a little bit ago, my family tradition is to watch Christmas Vacation every single Christmas Eve. We've done this for as long as I can remember. I've loved this film for as long as I can remember. It is one of the funniest movies I have ever seen. I love comedy. I'm somebody who, whenever I do watch a film, I just, I really want to have a fun, enjoyable experience. And Christmas Vacation, even after, you know, 28 years of watching it, I still laugh every single time. Every single time. Chevy Chase is just hilarious. There's no two ways around it. He is great. The entire cast, this, talk about a wonderful ensemble performance. Every single actor absolutely brought it in this film. Very quotable, just like the other films I was talking about. Every year when we're taking our tree down and we're a little bit sad, somebody will say it was an ugly tree anyway. And that, it, it's just really funny. We, whenever we're getting a Christmas tree, we say little full, lot of sap. It is so funny. And maybe I love it so much because it's incorporated into my Christmas traditions in such a special way, but I truly do think it is hilarious. And I think it's something we can all relate to, right? We all love Christmas, but there's a lot going on in the season and sometimes it can be really, really stressful. And it's really fun just to have a window into a wacky family Christmas because that is all something that we have experienced at one point or another. But in the end, we know that the magic of the season truly is in the ones we love. I just, I will never stop watching this film. I absolutely love it. I will always think it is as hilarious as the first time I've seen it. And that is why it is number one on my list. And that is my top five favorite Christmas movies. Again, as always, this is just my opinion in my ranking. I am one person. I love hearing what you guys like. I want to know what your top five is and which of these films that you love and which you wouldn't include on your list. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I want to give a special thank you and shout out to Richard Bloom. Richard, you are Stephanie's brother and she recently brought you over here to the channel and you have been on premieres. You've been in our Facebook group. I love your family. You all are so kind, so sweet, so supportive, and not just to me, but to everybody else in the live chats. And I just hope you know how much that means because it's... I think people forget that kindness is so needed. It's so important and you all give it so freely and so beautifully. And I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad all of you are here. I love you so much. Let me know what you want to see next time right here on Alleyways. Bye!